Welcome to Theatre of the Mind Flayer, a D&D play podcast set in the homebrewed world of Jekyll. We've got two DMs for some reason, which can only mean twice the fun. So sit back, relax, and enjoy your time at Theatre of the Mind Flayer. Hey all, welcome to Theatre of the Mind Flayer, the podcast that makes you go, mm, oh, mm, oh, spicy, yeah, mm, oh, too bad. Mm, spicy, oh, yeah. Mm, sauce. Sauce. Mm, mm, earthy toast. I'm Jacob Mason, that's <laughs> Caleb Dowdle. How you doing? Yo, yo, I'm pretty good. It's not Paddy's Day anymore. It's the week after Paddy's Day. <laughs> and I'm still having Guinness. Don't lie. <laughs> don't lie to our So wait, are we releasing this? Fools, you don't know what day it is. Are we releasing the last episode from Paddy's Day next year? <laughs> yeah, we could do that. A, a yearly podcast? A yearly podcast? Yeah, that could be done. Would people be interested in a yearly podcast? Is there a yearly podcast? Has it been done? Let us know down below. Yeah. <laughs> You're hearing the uh, dulcet tones of Hercules Mays. Hi. Luke Sykes. Hello. Danielle Butlin. Hello. And Dalen Serafini. Oi, oi, oi. How you all going? <laughs> Planned, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, I We're get going that. good. How you going? I'm good. I'm a little tired. My jaw doesn't hurt as much anymore because I've been talking. So, yeah. Not going to lie. A little tipsy. <laughs> little tipsy. Good. Oh. Tipsy. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Another Ooh. kind of Guinness in there for you if you'd like it. Because oh, yeah. it's not St. <laughs> Paddy's Day. It's anymore. definitely it's not Caleb 10 <laughs> minutes <laughs> later. You're pressuring anyone. No. It's definitely not you, 10 not minutes after we recorded the last episode. Because I'm allergic. What weird allergies? do you guys have? We know Dalen's. I would like to know everyone else's weird allergy. In character or as humans? No, as humans, I'd like to know. I have a game for in character. But now I actually just want to know what you're allergic to. (laughs) I'm not allergic to anything. Okay. Superior immune system, bitches. Wow. There you go. I say as I probably drop dead in the next 10 minutes. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, I've never been stung by a bee, so that could be it. Yeah. Yeah. Who knows? So nothing as well? Danielle? I'm not... Like, I haven't been officially tested, but I definitely... Have an intense reaction to like soy products. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's a fun time. I just like puff up like a balloon. Right. Not, not my body, my my my, my like. <laughs> you, you end up like, like I get Aunt the Marge fox, from you know. <laughs> <laughs> Caleb, uh, ASMR sounds. <laughs> that was You're ASMR actually R sounds. I, everybody, Caleb's, R. Caleb's allergic to. Uh, Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> you edit the podcast. <laughs> Caleb's allergic to almonds. Yeah, actually, I'm allergic to almonds. And I gave <laughs> and you, a, you always forget. I gave you a bar <laughs> yeah, that had almonds in it. Forget. And after about 10 minutes, he was like, do I have almonds in it? I was like, yeah. And he's like, then my tongue's a little tingly. I was like, are you going to be okay? He's like, yeah, 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 I'm fine. People always assume with a nut allergy that it's fatal. So Do I say die. I'm allergic to almonds and they go, oh my God, like you poor thing. It's fine. I just get a little bit of an itchy tongue and like a, a swollen throat <laughs> for an hour. Like <laughs> it's totally fine. Is it, you know, is it almonds have cyanide? Maybe you're allergic to cyanide. Apple, Wait, they apple don't seeds. Have apple seeds. Apple seeds. Apple seeds. Yeah. Apple seeds, yeah. seeds, seeds one of yeah. Cherry pits. Uh, poppy seeds. No, but yeah, bitter almonds have arsenic. Have ass. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> they got that fat ass. They got that ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, almonds, she thick. <laughs> uh, we're going to play a game again, a freedom game, because they're the best at games called Ha Ha Ha, I Have to Leave. This is a game that's <laughs> very How dumb. Jake lives his life. <laughs> very dumb. It's where two people have a conversation and a third makes an excuse to leave that is just silly and comes out of nowhere it's quite an easy game so basically we'll split it up into a handful of parties two of you will start a conversation with the third chiming in and then make an excuse to leave as your dnd character as your dnd character to your preface yeah to tie it in you yeah. know dnd podcast remember this oh. is a dnd podcast yeah, <laughs> yeah. so we're gonna start off dalen you're gonna be having a conversation with hercules and danielle you're gonna find a reason to join in and leave uh, so, uh, you got any really good fish recipes? I mean, I have a few, but... No, I, I thought, mean, you know, I, I imagine mean, I, he's I, out I, at sea all the you time. Were, you what? Know, generally, I thought you were going to more ask if I was going to have any daring stories from my time at sea, but sure, I can give you a fish recipe, that's fine. Uh, I mean, I found a nice cod one when I was out there one day. Uh, actually, the chef told it to me, is that you catch it fresh, you get it as fresh as you can, and then just like a little bit of lemon, a little bit of dill, that just... Mm, and then you just let you just bake it, and that's just simple. Ooh, you just don't. What are we talking about? Is that fish? Yeah, yeah, fish, fish recipes. Yeah, definitely not any of my daring adventures, but just a fish recipe. Yes. Hey, I think it's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I don't eat fish, so I'm going to go and <laughs> get my bedroll ready and. 
I mean, I also have a good recipe for fried chicken as well. <laughs> you know, that might be a little <laughs> And yeah, scene. The awkward thing I've ever watched. <laughs> Just to reiterate, the game is called Ha Ha Ha, I Have to Leave. It, you said make an excuse, right? Yeah, but then you say Ha Ha Ha, I Have to Leave. Oh, you yeah. actually say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Danielle, you're going to be having a conversation with uh, Luke and Dalen. Ha Ha Ha, I Have to Leave. So, a chicken can fly. Oh, yes. news to me. Well, all chickens can fly, just some can fly longer than others. How long can you fly? Um, it depends. That wasn't an inappropriate question or anything, was it? No, sometimes I get a little bit nervous, so then I don't fly quite so far. Hey, uh, what, are we, what, are we, what are we talking about? Flying. Yeah, uh, I, I wanted to throw her and see how far she can fly. Oh! Um, <laughs> I didn't get to that part of the conversation yet. No, so, you didn't. Um, we, <laughs> wow, well, well, I will just uh, leave you two to it. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go. <laughs> well done. Nice. Well done. <laughs> DMs, you two have a conversation. All right. Uh, and oh, Edorath, oh, me? And oh, Edorath oh, okay. cuts in. Oh, no, I'm not an actor. As characters. <laughs> As characters? Come on, yeah. Caleb, you did all those Narrator plays in high character. school. Uh, are we having the conversation and you're leaving? Yes. yes. Caleb, I have, a, I have a special request. Um, I would I would like to hear one of your goblins, please. Yes, please. <laughs> okay. I, would, I would also love to hear that. <laughs> okay, you want to go? <laughs> hey, how about, how about it's the two goblins and one of them is the one that didn't pay off? So maybe, yeah. <laughs> oh, so my goblin character and uh, <laughs> Roger Johnny, I believe you named him? <laughs> In- <laughs> yeah. I don't remember how to do Roger Johnny's voice. <laughs> hey, Roger Buck, what's going on? Uh, one of the <laughs> things I hate, yeah. one of the things I hate about what we do is not getting the cash that we deserve. Oh, man, I don't even get paid half the time. You didn't get paid? Never, really. What was the last job you did? Uh, 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 back scratcher for this dude. He was a turtle. Really? Yeah. Interesting. It's was a pretty it sweet gig, but you never paid me. Oh, well, how is it a sweet gig if you never got paid? Ah, are you seeing some backs, right? Some of them, not so nice. This one. What? Sh- excuse uh, me, gentlemen. Uh, yes. Have you seen... Oh, very- it's you. Hey, you owe me money. <laughs> Steven, right? St- oh, it's Johnny Roger. D- not ringing a bell. God um, damn it. I rode you from from your ship you all rode the way. Him? <laughs> right. Goblins yeah, don't ask me. Ask me. <laughs> you, I you, rode you from you, the ships. You fucked up I, my entrance. I didn't fuck up your entrance. You fucked up your own entrance. The, what do you mean you were the one who was rode? Roll initiative. No, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta leave. Bye. <laughs> Um, I have a question, Caleb. Yeah. yeah. Is that based on the hormone monster from Big Mouth? No, it was actually more <laughs> Elmo, Rick. but but I can oh, see oh, it. Oh, I can see the it. other guy, the, the <laughs> old, the old, the old, the old oh, no, the old That's dude. That's Rick. Is that Rick? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I can see it. I can see it. Oh, no, no, no. It's pretty much Rick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's very sweet. Okay, speaking about I don't know. Now let's play some. Oh, that things. was. That was <laughs> oh, no. Theater of the Mind Flip! In our last session, our party of adventurers ventured out onto the mists and escaped a narrow call with an army of mist beings, saved by the bailmen and their navigator. You guys discovered that, in fact, you must have a navigator with you lest you be lost on the roads. After conversing with the bailmen and making your way towards the city of Bale, you guys rested up before making it the next day. But not without incident, as Bias lured our, our friend Nim out into the outskirts of the camp and told him to leave and deserted him in the mists. I just did what he did to us. Not cool, bro. After getting lost himself then and being found with the help of Sax, the bailman navigator, you guys finished your journey to the city of Bale. When you arrived in, Gorn was giving you a rundown of the city while you, Bias, noticed a hooded figure watching you and darting through alleyways, disappearing as soon as you've seen him. Gorn, would you like to tell people about the city as you are guiding them through? So as you walk with the bailman, he kind of gestures around the various things and you can see that there are it's quite well populated there there are a number of other Vidalcan and Furbolg and Dragonborn the odd Janasi the odd Gith Goliath Half-Orc it's a veritable range of humanoid races that have been shunned from the other continents for reasons possibly known possibly unknown to you at the moment 
but you know that this is kind of a safe haven for strange individuals. Hey, go on. Yes, what is it? What does a red hood mean in this city? The same as a black hood, as a blue hood. The colors don't mean too much here. There's no gangs or anything like that. Okay. Why? Why'd you ask? I thought I saw something. Where? Over there. And he points off down the alleyway where he saw the red hood. Yeah, and he kind of gestures and he goes, what, besides this slosh bucket? And you see that there is like a bed and breakfast bistro that looks like it's kind of up and coming and new. And you do you see a couple of huge hulking figures kind of walking through and the, the windows kind of shake as they stroll around. The slosh bucket is 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 a place of repute. It, 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 it's a nice place to get a meal and to stay. Why? You think you saw someone unsatisfactory beside it? Uh, where did I see them? Like, they just... You saw him basically as you turned? It was a him. Haha, we learned something new. Or am I tricking you <laughs> as a devious DM? You mainly just caught the back of his hood as he darted in through the alley coming around the slosh bucket. No, he, he went down the alley. Right. Well, that is not of my concern. If you kindly follow me, please. Okay. As you walk through, he kind of gestures to a large, large wide kind of building and he says that is the uh, the academy the uh, bail academy for uh what the fuck is it you you came up with it on the sign you see the acronym balls and <laughs> it, it stands for the bail academy for leading locals somewhere <laughs> and he says this is where our this is where our guides get their training before they head off to the shaman to get their final tattoos um, i feel question. like that poster makes a lot more sense now. <laughs> I have a question. Yeah. Is this why she is called Sax? <laughs> he doesn't answer. <laughs> he doesn't answer and he keeps moving on. He gestures towards the town hall and says, this is where Mayor Dal Atkis is currently in power. Uh, in power sounds a bit bad, but uh, he is in charge. He is the mayor. He's in charge of box. As he points out the building, there seems to be a bit of ruckus outside. You notice a group of people holding picket signs and they seem to be quite upset what do the signs say roll a perception check hey not that bad not a four it's not your flashy dice i think that's why it's a 13 (laughs) 13 you you have to get a little bit closer but you peer at some of the signs and most of them appear to have some kind of stance on misinformation on notice boards (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> and specifically, this is a cause I can get behind. <laughs> specifically against misinformation or lack of information on those. You hear people saying things like, "We want our children back. How are we supposed to get our children back with information like this?" Holding up like a notice like yours, and another woman that's like, "My boy is missing. How will they know where to bring him back to?" You do notice one sign in particular. You peer, and you actually can't really read. What's on it? There seems to be a, a lack of information. And you guys kind of chuckle going, yeah, that, that one's good. Can you read this? I can't. I've never been good with words. I to seems I'm to going. be caught Keep in a little bit cause. of irony. It is a good cause. Yeah, brother. Yeah, brother. <laughs> <laughs> and I give him a, a semi high five. He reaches down and he goes and slaps you on the hand. He says, one of us. One of us. Yeah. Gorn kind of leads you through them up the stairs to the, the town hall. He nods to two Vidalcan guards who are standing watch by the door and says, This is where I will leave you. If you head inside, Madal Adkis will be with you shortly. Uh, he will explain everything that you wish to know. He's quite a personable person. If you need anything, just ask around for me. You will find me. Sax will be at the academy if you require a... At the Balls Academy? Sax will be in the Balls, <laughs> yes. Yeah. If you're looking for Sax... Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, yeah. uh, is nothing walk, else? As I walk past her, I just like, let me know if you need uh, leading anywhere yourself, friend. Uh, roll a quick persuasion check. Not good. Three plus persuasion, six. He kind of just gives you a curt nod and turns on his heel and marches away. Damn it, that was a story. Sax turns could. to you and says, it was a pleasure. Thank you for your company. Oh, yeah, it was really nice meeting you. Hopefully you see you again. <laughs> Did I, did I miss something? <laughs> I feel like I missed something. And she gives you all an, a polite nod each and then turns and... You as well, away. Sax. If you need leading anywhere, let us know. She turns and looks at you and goes, <laughs> you are funny. And it keeps walking. What's with you and suddenly want to lead people anywhere? Well, someone needs a leader. Are you our leader? I uh, didn't think we had a leader so much. <laughs> I mean, Figured I, we were just a group of strangers. Oh, we are. <laughs> 
I didn't think it was going to be me, but it sure as hell ain't going to be you. No, I'm not saying it's me. It's that we are a group, but with them, they let us. I could lead them somewhere. Let's just go see what Lead on, friend. You can hear the chanting, save our children, save our signs, save our children, save our signs, save our children, save our signs. I really want to help them, so the sooner we talk to this mayor, the sooner we can get to work. (laughs) Yes, well, Brigantia happens to be the patron god of children, so... Maybe if I could find the temple. That is oddly convenient. That's fucking lucky, I. <laughs> well, true. <laughs> hey, it's a tight narrative, okay? <laughs> Where's the instant fucking suspicion on her, huh? <laughs> She's a little chicken woman. <laughs> She's a plant. Don't judge her. Anyway, it I'm might help if part. we <laughs> find the temple. <laughs> sure. Right. Uh, let's see. Uh, talk, to the, talk to the mayor. Talk to the mayor. Temple, uh, drinks, missing children. I'm impressed that that was your order. I totally would have thought drinks would have been. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm blown Excuse away, you. friend. I am, <laughs> I am not just some lowly drunk. Well, if you're not our leader, ladies, Onwards. after you. Well, go ahead. Only because you know the temple, so. Let's I go was, in height I, order. Great Smallest guess I'm first. going last. I guess that means you. I'm five two. How tall are you? You said you were five foot flat. Okay, I'm five foot. How tall are you? Five foot. Okay, well, we'll go in together, shoulder to shoulder. <laughs> and <laughs> roll an acrobatics <laughs> check. <laughs> is the door open? <laughs> you guys make your way into the town hall. It's pretty unassuming, full of little offices. You see what seem to be like admin clerks, like fiercely scribbling down on scrolls. You see people coming in and out. And you do see a large door that's labeled mayor's office. I suppose we could just knock or do we ask someone? I'm not quite sure how people I do mean, things. I don't see a secretary anywhere. Yeah, go for it. As you knock, you hear a, uh, yeah, come in. I I'm very the door. pleased for that voice. That was about to come out of his mouth. <laughs> his face lit up. <laughs> He's like, I'm ready for this. <laughs> I open the door. As you open the door, you see probably in his mid 40-ish looking kind of fur bog, paunchy with a large red nose and big long sweeping hair. And he's kind of got his hands planted down on a desk in front of a set of maps that he seems to be looking at. And, and he looks up at you and he greets you with, with a very warm, friendly smile as you come in the door. Well, hello there. You're a, you're a bunch of strangers, aren't you? Welcome, welcome, welcome to uh, welcome to Bail. Surprisingly easy to see the mayor. Well, I'm, 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 I make it my business to make sure I get to see uh, people as, as often as possible. You know what? We really appreciate that. What are those maps you're looking at? Well, these are these are the maps of Bach. Oh, mind if I take a look at them? Well, I mean, uh, maybe introductions first. I'm uh... <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Where are my manners? <laughs> I'm Mayor Dal Adkiss. Nice to meet you. Pleasure, Edaroth. Nice to meet you, Anna Rand. What uh, what brings you to back? Well, I guess oh, I guess I am speaking on behalf of the group. All right, um, you must be the leader. Sure. <laughs> well, we're all here for different reasons. <laughs> oh, no, really? Well, I've got I've got time. I'm just going over the maps here. Uh, I've got time. I can I can listen to all of you. No, I think uh, the the main conjoining reason is um, we're here to help the people find the lost children and oh goodness you're not one of those save our signs save our children people are you <laughs> you know what they were a little convincing not gonna lie we look we tried we tried we, we tried putting a lot of information you on those what? sheets and then went, no 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 I, I have to say this I'm sorry we tried putting a lot of information on this and what happened was people spent too long on the boards and no one was going after the children so we thought <laughs> we'd make it a lot more simple and we got a lot of adventurers but not a lot of results okay I'm sorry I didn't mean to raise my voice <laughs> no, it's all right. It's just, you know what? We can we can discuss the signs a later time. But matter at hand, we are looking for these missing children. And uh, also, maybe if you would happen to know the location of a certain temple of Brigantia? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, going to be yeah, honest, yeah. I completely forgot the name of it. That's why Apparently I she's it. with the kids as well. Brigantia? No, yeah, Brigantia is a, a, a brilliant goddess. Brigantia, uh, her... Uh, her temple's out in the forest of Kron, all the way out there. We haven't heard from them in a while, as a matter of fact. Uh, we send people out there to kind of check on the check on the smaller towns, and that's one that we haven't heard from in a little while. Oh, um, we haven't heard from them either, so that's not I'm a sorry, good you sign. are? Oh, I'm Agnar Ur. 
Nice to meet you. Uh, what, what's your connection to the Temple of Brigantia? Well, I'm from the Temple of Brigantia back on Fiana. Oh, you're from Fiana. I should have guessed. I assume you, you sir, you're from Fiana as well? Aye. Yeah, right, right. You're, you're here for the temple as well? You're a religious man? You, you worship the gods, that sort of thing? He's such a pious man, you wouldn't believe it. <laughs> oh, I, I, I bet. He, he looks like it. Some would call me that, I. Oh, right, right. Well, listen. Um, can, can you show us on the map where the, uh, the temple will be? Oh, that might be helpful. Yeah, so you look down and you see on the map, it's split into sections. And you can see they seem to have been constantly updated and redrawn, the roads, as if they're never in one spot. And he points to the very north of the map and says, so so just to give you an overview, up here is Lahias. Uh, that's the, the swamp settlement on the north side. They, 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 it's dark and hot. We don't have a lot to do with them. A lot of gith living up there. They don't have much to do with us. They kind of stick to themselves. Uh, you know, up there is where all the mystical, magical stuff comes. You know, they bring it down here. We, we take it out to the to the other continents, you know, it's kind of the magical sort of place. And, and if you look uh, over here, and he points to the east side, this is uh, Ave. That's uh, kind of the, the river place, you know, where, where the water people are. There's a lot of mystical stuff there. They got some great wildlife, great fish, delicious fish. Get out there, get yourself some fish if you can at some point. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's where the river rings are. Um, I have a good recipe for fish. I, I was going to say, I, th- I hear a, a pirate friend has a great recipe for fish. Oh, really? Yes. Uh, what's, your, what's your fish recipe? Well, I mean, it depends on what type of fish we're talking about. Oh, well, any fish. I mean, the fish up there are unique to to, to Bakht, to be honest. We we export them overseas to the, oh, to the elves might, and the dwarves. I might need to find a new recipe, though. Oh, really? Yeah, <laughs> I have to go. No, that's not. <laughs> <laughs> he points to the to the south, and he says, "That's Kron. That's that's where the forest settlement is. Down to the south, that's where you're going to find the Temple of Brigantia. A lot of master carpenters down there. That's where we get our uh, our weaponry from. I'm sure you've seen the spears that our people have. That really solid steel wood. It's thick. It's what we're known for." It's uh, it's unique to here. We have a lot of unique things that a lot of people. Let me just say, since the war in Neil dragged, they've been they've been coming here. They've been taking a lot of steel wood from us. Tell us more. Tell you more? I, I don't know. I, I no, can't no, no. speak what on those interesting things. Interesting things do you get? Uh, like what what interesting things do you have? Well, here in the uh, continent, yeah. ah, I'm in the middle of telling you. If you just give me a couple more seconds, I'll and finish what I know. The war. The war. Hi. What about the war? Tell us about it. Well, I don't know anything about the war in uh, in Neodract. I know that the elves and the dwarves are having it out, fisticuffs, that sort of thing. I know they're uh, they're quite tenacious. Do you know why? Do I know no, why? No, who knows why side. those people do those things? I don't know why people fight. I mean, we the worst thing we had here was well, I'm sorry, the the bloodbath of Bakht. That was a, a fair few years ago now. We're not from here. Uh, do fill us in. Well, the, well, thanks for prompting me. The bloodbath of Bart <laughs> was a, a, a massacre, frankly, a massacre that the people of Severe uh, brought upon us. They tried to invade Bart, and when they got here, they found Bakhtians lining the roads, refusing to let them go. He turns to you, Sephiroth, while he's saying this, and his very pleasant and very genuine demeanor you notice a little crack in it for a split second as he's saying this and he looks at you. I don't think anyone else even notices, but you, once he's talking about the bloodbath of Bokht, you're obviously a little bit on edge and you do notice his eyes dart you slightly, but he gains composure very quickly. The, uh, the Severians murdered our people. They were unarmed, they were defenseless, they were unmercifully cut down. The roads flowed with blood, defenseless, exactly. From that day, the roads have never been the same. They've, they've always shifted and become a constant, you know, attraction for fog. That's why we have the people of the Balls Academy. They show us the way. Yeah, they, that. they do their training and they show us the way to the other towns. You never want to leave here without, uh, without a guide, without a, a, some sort of track or a guide that has been soaked in the knowledge of Balls. <laughs> Quick reminder. <laughs> yeah. Um, Wait, is that to me or is that to me? That's to you. <laughs> okay. I rolled the religion check and it was uh, the myths were uh, something uh, creation by the gods. So when you rolled, you realized that creatures like this and happenstance like this can often come about from interference from a god. Interference from a god. Yeah. Gotcha. So now to you. What god do you worship around here? Oh, we worship all kinds of gods. Some people do worship gods, some people don't. We don't know what god 
you know, has blessed us with the defense that this uh, continent now has, the roads. But we, we know now that if anyone tries to invade us, they're going to have a hard time getting into the heart. And frankly, the other continents have kind of been good about that. Anyone that tries to step up and take us on, they tend to step in before anyone gets here. And if they get here, they're going to have a hard time getting out of what here. What God uh, do balls prostrate themselves to? <laughs> <laughs> I could see the oh, fucking gears dear. turning in your head coming up with that one. You know, the balls don't really, they kind of, they, they, they just hang around. They don't really, they don't really, uh, they don't really <laughs> stick to anything. They just kind of there. They don't follow a God in particular. They follow the, the way of the road. They're, they're there purely to help people out. The death road. Sorry, the what? That was dirt. <laughs> that was dirty. Yeah. Sorry, what? <laughs> the death road. No, the dirt road. But the dirt <laughs> road. <laughs> right. Gross. That's a disgusting thing to say. Um, so, as far as I can tell you, uh, th- there's also our, our mining uh, settlement, but we haven't we haven't heard a lot from them either. Uh, it seems to be two of those places that have a bit of bit of problems at the moment. But if you're if you're looking for the temple. I can say you, you want to head uh, in that direction that I said, which the direction that I said was actually, it was heading uh, south? south. Yeah, thanks for reminding me. I got a lot on my plate. Uh, no, as far as, <laughs> yeah, no, it's on the map there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the roads may be different at the moment. And is everything except for the towns and cities covered in mist? We haven't explored everything, so to speak. We kind of stick to the roads, even though they're covered in mist, and get to where we got to go. There's a lot of Bach that's unexplored. Has anyone tried to get rid of the mist? We've tried all sorts of things. We've found that the mist actually kind of helps with the with the the dangers of people trying to take over. We've got a lot of good exportable materials that people want, and if any one nation could take over, they'd they'd make a fortune. So you guys do know from what little you do know of Bach that they're the smallest continent of Chikal. Like if you know, Fiona is like somewhat made of these powerful races and Severe is this like big superpower. Bokt is definitely like the little brother when it comes to continents, right? It's the so. Australia. <laughs> so, pretty much. Yeah. It's like a smaller Australia. I th- so I thought New Zealand. That, I thought um, or the going. Ireland. I was going to say, or an Ireland, if yeah. you will. Yeah, it would make a lot of sense that that's something that would stop other continents invading them would be something that they would want to keep around because they're such a small little continent now you sir you said something about the children you're you're here to help the children you're here for the temple you're here to help children yes you're here to help find the children that have gone missing yes that's why fantastic that's fantastic there's literally people missing and families are missing the children well yeah i i mean from what we know it leads out of here it leads out and, 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 and from what we've discovered, it's kind of led towards the south, the, the trail. The trail of children? We've or? found shoes, we've found clothing, oh. we've found... Do the children get taken from their homes or the, do they get, they run out into the mist for no apparent reason? It's a little bit of both. We get children taken from their homes, we get children running out into the mist, we get children taken from the other towns. As far as we can tell... It's all leading towards the south. Now, we don't know why, and we don't know how. I mean, you could possibly speak to the children's parents and find out uh, where the kids could have gone, but um, as far as we can tell, yeah, we we, we don't know too much more. Uh, Have any of the children come back? Not a single one. Is there like a certain age? Is like... Once it's they like be- turn seven, they get kidnapped. Or is it like no? It's like- earlier. They they get kidnapped sometime between you know two. What you would say in uh, human years, two years old to around four or five years old. I know that's different for each of you. Some of you live longer. Some of you live live less longer. But uh, <laughs> so they want like young. They young want children. youngins. Yeah, as far as we can tell. And I'm uh, sorry to ask this, but they haven't found any bodies, have they? We have not found any bodies. That's the only thing keeping the hope alive. Yet. And how long? Uh, Yeah, yet. (laughs) He kind of looks at you. (laughs) He squints his eyes a little bit. I more mean that we're going to be the ones that are going to help these people, so there's a very likelihood that we might find something that we don't want to see. Well, yeah, and come to think of it, I'd rather strangers or adventurers find them and bring the news than the parents find them. One final question from me. Right, just one from you? Aye. Where do we bring the children once we find them? 
Well, <laughs> if you take a <laughs> look at the notice board, if you take a look at the notice board, <laughs> that information has been intentionally left out. Now, what you can do is just bring them back here and we can reunite them with their families well, if why we find you put that them. on the sign. Well, I just assumed if the sign was in a town, you take the kid to that town. But I have seen some parents have taken their flyers and put them in other other towns. <laughs> the war on misinformation. <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen, we know we have a problem with the notice boards. I'm trying my best, but forgive me if the missing children are the priority here. You know what? That's, oh, that's going to be the B plot. It's fine. <laughs> How long have the children been going missing? This has been going on for... Not quite a year. It'd be, it'd be close to eight months. Almost a year of missing Almost. children, and you have nothing to find except shoes and grieving parents. Let me ask you this. Have you tried to find your way through these uh, mists on your own yet? Yeah, we did. Yeah, how far did you get? Uh, <laughs> Not very Farther far. than you'd expect. Oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> he looks at you and smirks a little, but he get, returns to his kind demeanor, and he says, listen, listen, I'm not here to... Take the piss. I don't want you guys having to go at me. We, we want this done as soon as possible. Trust me when I say, if it were done, then it is done. Then it well, it were done quickly. You guys a fan of the Bard? <laughs> Who? Who? You know, the Bard. The Bard. Dr. Allison Shakespeare. Over in uh, Fianna? Oh, yes. We did some reading at the temple. Yeah, he's great. He's great. He's fantastic. He's a great orator. Writes some good stories. Has what's great his, musicians. What's his most um, famous, famous story? His most famous story, well, that'd be, uh, well, that's a good question. Mayor Dow clears his throat as if <laughs> to <laughs> sing the epic poem of the great bard, Dr. Allison. Oh, sing Lord. it. It's an epic poem. You got to sing it. If it were done when it were done, then to well it were done quickly. If the assassination could trammel up the consequence and catch with his surcease success, that but this blow may be the be-all and end-all here. But here, upon this bank and shoal of time, we jump the life to come. But in these cases, we still have judgment here, that we but teach bloody instructions, which, being taught, return to plague the inventor. Shall I continue? <laughs> Yes, Impressive. please. <laughs> Return to plague the inventor. This even-handed justice commends right, the right, ingredients of our poison enough, chalice man. to our own <laughs> lips. Man, as much as that, we could do this for okay. hours <laughs> on end. Okay, click with this hand. Fuck. We should. We should really get back <laughs> yeah, to the matter. Yeah, click your broken finger. <laughs> a few weeks. A few listen, weeks. listen. I'll happily, you know, if... What if, was the name if, of that one? Of that one? Yeah, what that was the name of that one? That from the school. Scottish one. Yes, that's right. It's the Scottish play. Yeah, yeah. The Bard, the Bard, Dr. Allison Shakespeare. Why does no one Shakespeare? want to tell me their fucking names? What was the name of that one? Well, you curse. can't. Technically, you shouldn't yeah. say the name of that one. It's a death curse. Some Don't say that a it. child said it once in Bach, and we haven't seen children since, so we're, we're a bit wary. <laughs> we can quote his works, but you can't say the name of that one. I mean, you can say the name of the character, but you can't say the name of Yeah, them. but they're yeah. the same. It's, it's, it's a fine line. And Mayor, were there any um, religious... Oh, thanks for bringing us back on track. <laughs> <laughs> I was just curious if, you know, there were any religious um, celebrations or um, festivals around when the children started going missing. Was there anything to mark that time? The Temple of Brigantia did have their, uh, not a reunion, but people that made their way up through the temple returned around that time to celebrate the, the anniversary of, of their graduating of their uh, divinity, so to speak, their ability to heal and to, to, to spread light and life upon the world. Uh, that's the only thing I can think of as far as religious celebrations. Ooh. I um, pull the cloak of Sephiroth. Did I get it right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> and I just... I, I like, lean down. <laughs> I was very, I'm not allowed to ask any more questions about this topic because I said I'm not going to ask any more questions. Can you ask me a question for me? Yeah, sure. Can you ask how long the mists have been around? Um, and pardon me, Mayor, not to bring up a <laughs> sensitive topic, but no, no, no. Um, the mists appeared during or after the bloodbath, you said? Yeah, they occurred after the bloodbath, I believe. Uh, so... Basically, as 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 the story goes... As the slaughtering was happening, because you understand slaughtering takes a long time. I see in some of your eyes, you've done some slaughtering in your time. No judgment, but if you could refrain from that, that'd be fantastic. So you now, need three of the four of us. 
because I feel like Agnar is physically incapable of murdering someone in the nicest way possible. You'd be right. I mean, I could be capable of it, but I think more spiritually incapable. <laughs> I think that would be a better. You know, we don't have time for Why this. Why is <laughs> that more chilling than anything else you've ever said? <laughs> <laughs> terrifying. She's like, I can do it whenever I want. He, he looks at you and he says, I respect you. When, when the slaughtering was happening, the mists... It's hilarious, the slaughtering, yeah. <laughs> the mists appeared as the slaughtering was... Ha- as the blood was being spilled, as if the gods or something was angry that this was happening. And that scared the Severians away. They, they, they tried to traverse the roads, but they couldn't make it very far. And they... Uh, they fled. And we were saved somewhat, but we, we lost many lives. Listen, if you want to ask another question, I'm not going to hold you to your word. You can ask another question. How long ago was that? Uh, I think Definitely it before about, your lifetime. I can't remember how long ago it was. Here's what I'm going to suggest. I'm going to suggest that you, you get your... I mean, it's late. You've obviously been traveling. Uh, get yourself some rest in the in the morning or, or whenever you feel like it. Head across to Balls. And uh, get yourself a guide and, and, and set out wherever you like. Or, or stick around. I mean, we're happy to have strangers here for as long as you want. But um, if you're here to help the children, sooner is better than later. Drinks have gone up to number two. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll spare Bias a question and ask, could you possibly point us in the direction of a, a good inn? Well, I could ask that. It's not. Well, about, you didn't want to ask to any the, more questions. I, not so. related to the topic I said that was my last question about. All right, all right, all right. Right, go ahead. Where is a good place to stay? <laughs> well, I mean, the best place to stay is a little up and coming place called the Slosh Bucket. It's kind of like a bed and breakfast bistro. Ooh, it's right as you enter. There. I know, it seemed quite charming. That's the best place for it. There's not a lot of other places to stay unless you try and board with a family, but the, I don't know. Most of the rooms that are empty now are. Uh, well, I, you know, I, I hesitate to, to even mention it. <laughs> <laughs> That's depressing as hell. Let's, <laughs> let's go. Uh, All right. Well, if you need anything, just let me know. Just just, just step on in. I'll, uh, I don't know. It's probably very likely I'm just standing here leaning over my maps. Uh, <laughs> oh, I, I have one thing. Yeah, sure. Mr. And I go into a 10 minute rendition of the Scottish player that apparently we don't know the name of directly to the mayor. I did it for you. Can you do it for me, please? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Performance. I can finish off that monologue if you like. <laughs> Performance. A natural one. <laughs> natural, natural one. one. <laughs> so you, you, you start to oh, speak, no. and as you do, he gets excited, and he's like, he's like, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, 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 but he, he is here in double trust. First, I am his kinsman and his, and his, and his ward, strong both against the deed, but, uh, and also as his host, who should against his murderer, bear, uh, shut the door, not bear the knife myself. And he keeps going and going and going as you walk out. So then, on the way out, uh, I go to you. the uh, <laughs> I, I go to the I go to the the protesters. You know it. His door is open, right? You can just walk in. He's what? His door is open. You can just walk in. <laughs> He's his? Hi. Oh shit! And one of them runs up the stairs and tries to get in. And you two Vidalcan, two Vidalcan, oh. drop down their spears and push him onto the ground. And he turns and looks back at you and says. You fucking lied to me. <laughs> you didn't say that the Dolkins were there when we walked in. It's so we didn't, we yeah, didn't well, really I'm make gonna a fucking perception insert check. that in, and you're gonna sound very fucking stupid. <laughs> you're gonna sound so stupid. <laughs> Can't just put guards in where there weren't guards before. I mean, you'd assume that in a mayor's office to be some sort of security. Well, that's why I be... said it was super easy just to walk in and see the mayor. Well, he was fucking and he said he had an open door. Us. Did you ask to look around? Did you do? <laughs> and you were escorted up the stairs by a troop of Vidalcan. He was expecting us. <laughs> How yes, was he, he expecting was us? He was waiting for us. Uh, <laughs> right. Let's uh, let's. Let's get to the end because I'm uh, I'm pretty tired. You hear at the window. Is this a dagger I see before? <laughs> <laughs> you guys want to make your way to the inn? Yeah, yeah. You make your way back to the slot bucket, and as you enter, you are greeted to the sounds of much merriment. Everyone is having fun. The place is packed, at, like a complete contrast to the tavern you found yourselves in back in Kuhn. There's people playing darts. You see people 
arm wrestling everyone's drinking everyone's having fun you see behind the bar two ogres a male and female ogre who are like busy running around serving drinks cleaning tables they seem quite content in it they seem to be like running back and forth and kind of joking with each other as they do kind of stressed but kind of thriving on it a little bit anyone that's worked in the service industry understands that oh yep. yeah and yeah. As, oh, yeah. as they're as they're trotting around you just hear like a <laughs> and everything kind of rattles a little bit as they dash around but it seems to add to the atmosphere of the place and as you walk in the uh the female looks up and she says oh hi there hi there welcome come in have a seat why oh, thank you you're welcome oh this is nice Pardon. Um, yeah, I'll be with you in a second. Yeah, for sure. We'll be in a second. I guess we wait here until they come talk to us. Let's all stand in silence and wait. <laughs> you guys are standing there waiting in silence as multiple people come and go. A group comes in behind you and it goes, oh, are, are you, you you guys wait, waiting? Are you? Oh, yeah. We got Sorry, told we're, to wait. We're, yeah, we're waiting uh, in line. Just people, just, people behind yeah. us. Yeah. yeah, yeah uh, okay. No, we can. We can. Yeah. Busy place. We can wait. wait in yeah. silence. It's, it's worth it. We've been here yeah. before. Oh, oh, I, I feel like we should. Or are we supposed to just take a table? Or you want, do we wait it, for I, them? I and go they to an empty booth and I just sit down. <laughs> <laughs> you got you, you, Edorath. People I hate, Edorath. <laughs> Edorath, you notice as soon as a group of what seem to be like teenage dragonborn who've somehow managed to get in for a few pints, they're leaving you sneak in and steal their table. As you go to sit down, the, the male ogre kind of steps over and says, Oh, give me a second. Let me just uh, wipe that down for you. No, Thank you. No, it's uh, no, not, no, a it's, not a problem. Not a problem. All right. Have like, a seat. Have a seat, guys. Thank you. Um, I Thank feel you. like we should. No worries. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> feel like Is there anything I can do for you? Can oh, I yeah, get we, you we anything? Come on, we follow. You've just met. Uh, let me. Down. Let me. Uh, I'll come back. I'll come back. I'll let you take a look. Okay. Oh, thank you. Any drinks or anything before I go? Uh, just a round of beers. A round oh, of beers. I'll, I'll have water. Thank you. Okay. Round of beers and a water. No problem. No problem. And I, I reach into my coat and I put a gold piece down. Oh, that's very kind. That's very kind of you. Thank you. Gold? A gold piece? Mark that off your sheet. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and he trots off to go um, give I'm you... St- a- I'm still waiting at the door. Like, um, you said a minute? By straw, just sit your scaly ass down here. You don't run this establishment. The female ogre looks at you and says, Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, I, I thought you were with these people. I can get you another table. No, I was. You just said wait, so I waited. You're very kind. Thank you for waiting. I appreciate it. You can take your seat. You can take your seat. Thank you. Right, so what I was saying before. Well, I'm glad you found your wallet. That's nice. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, shit. Right, um. Um. Yeah, it turns out the goblin didn't steal it. I I found it when we were camping. It was just in a different part of my bag, and I just... I, I, yeah, it wasn't a big deal. Anyways, um... That's okay. uh, Happens to all of us sometimes. Uh, So, um, what's our game plan here? For, For the what? Getting drinks? Yes, getting drink. No, the fucking children. Oh. I mean... <laughs> Phrasing. Um. <laughs> <laughs> it was completely fun until I you mean, to say it. <laughs> it sounds like this temple is somewhere that would be advantageous to get a lot of information from. Yes, and they said the trail went to the south and the temple's in the south, so... And I mean, we have a connection to the temple here, so hopefully oh, they'd be willing course, to... you're all welcome. ...help us. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Here's your beers. <laughs> Thank you. No problem. Thank you. Here's your water. Thank you. Uh, no problem. Sorry, before you yeah. go, we were, we were curious about possibly getting rooms here tonight. Oh, rooms? Would that, would that be a possibility? Well, you'll have to speak to my wife. I'll go get, I'll get her to come over here. Thank you. Thank no problem. You. No problem. For a room for four of you? Um, Different. Yes. Separate rooms. Just whatever's cheapest. Whatever. Oh. She, I will let her come and speak to you. She she deals with that sort of stuff. Okay. I'm just the barmaid. <laughs> and he <laughs> <laughs> walks over. Is he wearing a little you, penny? <laughs> yeah. You see, yeah, he's got like a little apron and like a little tea cozy. You see, he walks over, like uh, stomps over to his wife and kind of whispers in her ear and she kind of nods and kind of waves and uh, kind of a gesture of I'll be over in a second and I wave back and she slaps her husband in the ass <laughs> with a big like <laughs> echoes through the and everyone turns for a second and like oh it's okay it's fine <laughs> okay. figure head to the temple stock up on supplies if anyone needs head anything head to balls that oh we should right. do that I mean we, we should get um, Zax to lead us I mean she seemed at yeah. least 
kind of knows us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I passive perception. <laughs> <laughs> you know, insight check right now. Is there? S- I'm just, uh, I'm not Why are you it. blushing? Good things might. Good thing my skin's red, so you can't know. Are you? Uh, can you physically blush? <laughs> no, no, my skin's like a like a like a dark olive red, so it's difficult to see me blush. But you notice that I turn a little bit darker. <laughs> You hear the telltale. Hey there. Uh, Honk said that you guys wanted a room each or something. Yes, yes, we're wondering if that's possible. Okay, okay. Uh, A room each will cost uh, eight silver piece per person for the night. Uh, that's That's a single room each. There's amenities in the rooms. Uh, and that also will cover a nice little continental breakfast in the morning, if you wish. What it's in, uh, included in the breakfast? Well, it's your typical continental breakfast. So we have we have breads. We have breads that are dextrinized, which is which is toasted and and kind of it's crispy. Like, it's like have a you had crispy bread egg before? And like a, yeah. Some bacon and we maybe have, a muffin. Yeah, we have churned butter to put on the bread. We also have uh, oats that are soaked in goat's milk that you can eat, or we can warm them up under on top of the fire. Um, there's a whole there's fruits. We have fruits. We have a little bit of fish from uh, from uh, uh, the where they fish. Uh, Avea, Avea, Avea. I, I have not been. We moved here recently. We're still That's learning fine. the we, names. That oh, you're tourists. Lovely. Oh, what are you here for? And she kind of like le- whoosh, leans on the table, <laughs> and the table tilts a little bit. <laughs> oh God, my bed. Oh. Well, I'm going to meet with the leaders of the Temple of Brigantia oh, down Oh, yeah, in yeah. Kron. Oh, lovely, down in the forest. That'll be lovely. We haven't been down to the forest. We've not been down to the forest, have we, dear? <laughs> he kind of shakes his head. No, we've not been down there. It uh, seems we found ourselves to maybe be looking for the missing children. Oh, that's very sweet of you. We want to start a family here, don't we, honey? And he kind of nods through the thing. Like, but we're, we're too scared. We don't want to bring up a child in these kind of conditions. You know what? If When we solve this missing children case, we will we'll let you know so that you can make sure that this will be a lovely place to raise a family. Let me tell you, if you solve this missing children's case, as you put it, you're welcome to stay here for free any time. Write that down. <laughs> <laughs> Get it in right. As they're talking, uh, <laughs> can I look around for any red hoods? Yeah, give me a perception check. Oh, is that cracked or is that... That was a 16, now it's a 2. Ooh. It's a 6 turtle. You look around oh. and the space is bustling. There's so many people. You see a flash of red here and you turn and you go, oh, no, it was someone's cloak. Another flash of red, no, it was someone's boots going up the stairs. You keep darting your eyes, you're slightly on edge, constantly looking for these flashes of red, but every time you look... You realize that your your nerves might be getting at you, or your eyes are playing tricks on you, because every time it's just a flash of red. From just keep seeing spirits. <sighs> Yoga says that's eight silver pieces each uh, with the continental breakfast. I mean, ah, uh, we've we've got leftovers. We can give you dinner if you want for for eight silver pieces. It'd be nice to have nice heroic folks staying. And uh, yeah, if there's anything else we can do for you, just let us know. I'm Frong, and my husband Honk. Frong and, and honk. honk. Yeah, and this is the, uh, the slosh bucket. <laughs> it's like a choir. <laughs> cool. It's how we remember names. <laughs> <laughs> Episode three, everyone's so in sync. Frog and honk. I, I give her a gold piece. Oh, that's very kind of you. Thank you for the tip. We appreciate it. You found your wallet. You can we cover, already had this You can cover <laughs> mine. Uh, I take out eight silver. I Thank wasn't very at the table with that kind conversation. Of Fine, I get um, out. I begrudgingly get out another ten. gold piece. <laughs> silver. Silver. Okay, okay. Everyone mark one that off. Oh, one yeah, gold. one gold. Yeah. 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 Thank you. That's very sweet of you. And That's what was that you, you gave? Another one? I do another one for Bias Jaw. Oh, oh, that's very kind. That's very what, kind. What you mean of you. the one silver it costs you, to buy me a beer? You must be good friends. Um, yes. I paid for the beer. Oh. Who's covering your debt? It's all right. Oh, fuck, here's another one. <laughs> no, it's just money. Right, it doesn't just, matter I'll, to me. You know what? Just, I'll just pay for everything. No, it's I've already it's paid. It's all, it's all done. I'm, I, I'm, it's fine. And she, <laughs> she backs away and says, enjoy yourselves. There'll, there'll be meals out shortly, and you can spend as much time here as you want. When you're ready, come to me. I'll give you your keys, and you can just head up the stairs and uh, have a bit of a kip, okay? Enjoy your night. Great. Thank you. Should we finish these beers and then go to balls? Get a guide. 
I mean, we could just... Well, I mean, we could rest. We should, well, they're probably closed for the oh, night, yeah. I'd imagine. I mean, it's it's pretty late. We should... Is it? <laughs> it's like evening time. It's yeah. not like... You can hear You can hear in the table next to you, the uh, similar to the young dragonborn teens, there's a, there's a handful of uh, half-orcs sitting and chatting, and you, you can hear them talking about uni, university, about the academy, and they're like, oh, yeah, I don't really want to go back and... Go back. I have to study tonight, but uh, you know, I'll, I'll I'll get on campus and do a bit of studying. So you, you gather that there's access to the academy at night for students to study and stuff like that, and there must be. Uh, hey, teens. Sort of... Yeah, uh, you're from the academy, I. Eh? <laughs> yeah, obviously. Great. Who's your teachers? Who's my teacher? Hi, headmistress Ayarwin. Let me rephrase that. Yeah. Who's the hottest teacher? Wow. What the fuck? They all kind of look at each other and <laughs> giggle a little bit. Me. And they're like... Oh. To be honest, Headmistress Ayarwin is is a bit of a, you know, cougar fox kind of thing. Great. Is she tattooed? Is she tattooed? Well, yeah. I mean, she, she went through the whole sort of balls thing and got tattooed <laughs> by the shaman, so... Great. I turned to Sapira. <laughs> There's more than one. Should we go find <laughs> You just see her slightly turn a slightly darker red and just go, Fuck. Yeah, she's, she's, you're into that. She's like yeah. that matronly kind of older, wizened kind of vibe, but she's, you know, you know, she's good. She's good. Thank you. Thank you for the intel. No problem. You can fuck right off. <laughs> now, is it just um, tattoos? <laughs> I won't go. You know what? Why don't we just? It's ask? good. My mascara is like running in my. Eyes. <laughs> Why don't we just ask Socks? She already knows us. Yeah, I mean, I don't mind that either. Okay. Um, What's going on with you? My mascara is running in my eye. No, I mean not in real life. I mean in game. <laughs> I can fully see you across the table. What you? What the fuck you're doing? No, nothing's nothing's going on with me. It's just you know, it's been a long day. Well, seeing as. We won't be leaving until the morning, and so we won't be needing a guide until the morning. Maybe it makes more sense to go and ask in the morning. That way we're not paying more for a guide to have them available overnight. I mean, that's what I was saying. We just wait till morning. Have you ever heard of booking? <laughs> oh? You don't have to get them now and have them till you fucking use them. You can just book them and say, I'm coming back tomorrow at nine. Have one available. Oh, that's a good half all kind of looks at you and says, I didn't mean to like uh, over listen or hear or like sneak a peek, but uh, y- you can totally go and check the place out at night. Like it's open 24 7. Well, then there's less people there, obviously. Do you want to be our guide? No, <laughs> that's your f- that's what you're training for. What do you mean? Old you are, man. You are not. <laughs> <laughs> goes back to his <laughs> we are not sending teenagers to their death just to lead us into the fog. What? No. D- at the school, you idiot! Oh, f- oh, god! Oh, <laughs> you know you really need to work on your like, intention because it really seemed like you would like saying like, "Why don't you come with us into the mist?" And then we'd just ditch him. Uh, yeah, yeah. Ha, ha ha! I have to leave. I walk over to the bar. <laughs> I walk over to the bar and I I, I wave down the trolls. Fang, ogres, whichever ogre. one, ogres. <laughs> we done wrong. <laughs> Episode three. Oh uh, yeah, what can I do for you? You ready to go up? No, you, you see that table over there, the half orcs. Oh yeah, yeah, the kids. From, yeah, they're yeah. underage and they're drinking. Oh, I assure you, they're not. No, oh, I think they are. Really? I roll a deception check. <laughs> I thought you said they were underage. University. That was the dragon. It was the dragonborns who were underage. Yeah, you said they snuck in. The dragonborns. That was the dragonborns. God damn it! Yeah. I need to listen. <laughs> Natural 20! <Yeah. laughs> she kind of nods Fucking at you and nod. goes... Oh, she kind of looks at you and goes... Oh, okay, okay, thank you, thank you. I appreciate your uh, patronly duty. Uh, and she kind of nods to her husband. And you you just see him go... <sighs> and there's like a... <laughs> <laughs> and he stops right in front of the table and goes... Yeah, get out! And they go, oh, fuck, fuck, fuck! <laughs> and they grab their shit and scramble out the door. Oh, he kind of turns and looks back at her and winks and gives two thumbs up. And she winks and gives two thumbs up. And she says, thank you so much. We appreciate that. We wouldn't want our, our liquor license to be taken away. No, did they pay for pay for their drinks? Oh, I, I'd rather I'd rather them just be gone. No, no, no. Yes. And I give her a, a gold piece to cover their drinks. Okay, thank you. Mark that off. <laughs> oh, the, you, you, you guys are so kind. So kind. I appreciate that. You know what? 
next time you stay, just just stay on the house, just the once. Oh uh, no, it's too much. It's, no, it's no, too, we it's insist, too much. Insist. No, no, no. You want? It's the least we can do. Whoa, to accept. where did you come from? <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> you are the stealthiest person I've ever seen. Here's free, and he runs yeah, 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 yeah. He swaggers he up. Yeah. <laughs> I can smell a deal a mile away. <laughs> <laughs> what would you guys like to do? I mean, I guess we could, no harm in going to the school and trying to uh, find a guide. I mean, we also just got here. We could explore the town a little bit. Would any shops be open? No, but it might be useful to see what they have in the windows. Just... No, I'm not <laughs> planning on stealing. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> what, just because you think I'm a pirate, I like stealing things? Okay, well, we can look at the chops on the way to the academy, no? Yeah. Let's, uh, let's do it. I, uh, down the rest of my beer and slap it on the table and stand up and start walking out. Badass. <laughs> Thanks. That was so cool. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, everyone looks at you and goes, yeah. Everyone looks at you and goes, yeah. Shit, cool. I wish Sax was here to see that. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell her about it later. Be, I'm sure you're ready to her. <laughs> you, guys, you guys leave and make your way to balls while having a look in the shops on the way. Is that the plan? There does seem to be quite a few merchant shops. There's not so much windows in a lot of these places. A lot of the merchants seem to be more like stalls, but you do see a few. There seems to be a lot of like survival shops, supplies for going on the roads. Doesn't seem to be much in terms of like magical shops, but definitely like basic gear. There are shops there for stuff if you do require that. As you're making your way to the roads, you come across the huge sign that says balls on it, and you know you're in the right place. The dumbest thing. <laughs> it's literally the dumbest thing, but you, it's so you, good. You turn the corner, you turn the corner of, of uh, the balls building, and... Uh, what shape is this balls building? No, move on. We need to progress this story. <laughs> I really don't need to tell you. I really don't need to say. Uh, you turn the corner, and... It's a little bit dark, but you see what appears to be a Goliath in robes, a big stocky Goliath who looks kind of young. He's got a few pimples on his face on the ground, being berated by three other young boys in robes. You hear them shout, Ah, well, 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 little fucking nerd, eh? And they Booting him on the ground as he lies there in pain, wincing. He's going, you're going to come in and study? You're going to try and be the best of us? You got no fucking chance, you little prick. I pick up a rock and I chuck it at the one who's leading. <laughs> Give me an attack roll. Dex or strength? Yeah, let's go Dex, yeah. How, how, tall, how tall are these little bullies? They're Vidalcans, so they're like between 5'9 and like 6 18. foot. 18. Yeah, go ahead and roll uh, projectile damage. Um, you're okay. throwing a rock, so that'd be just a D4. D4. Yeah. <laughs> D4. One D4 plus your um, your Dex modifier. Okay. I don't want to. I don't want to kill him. You, just... uh, you'll find out whether you kill him. Or not. <laughs> <laughs> whether you, whether you <laughs> commit <laughs> murder. I'm close. I'm Adirath close in is melee. A little yeah. drunk. <laughs> oh. He doesn't like bullies. Uh oh. Three. <laughs> Three. Three points. You damage. throw the rock, and it hits him square in the temple. Ah! He whips his hair back and he says, I'm, Who the fuck did that? I'm going to fuck you up, you little prick. Yeah, and the other yeah, one goes, Come try me, you little book. <laughs> oh, fuck. I yeah, you can't even get an insult out, you fucking dude. Yeah, where did this guy come from? Yeah. This guy. Fuck this guy. And fuck this guy. The he kind chose of a rock at you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I, th I think it's about to happen now, guys. I think it's about to happen now, guys. <laughs> For a 12 to hit? That doesn't hit. He fucks a rock at you, and it completely soars past your head, and the other teenager goes, Oh, what the fuck, dude? We're trying to kill this dude! <laughs> they both throw rocks at you. <laughs> this is fun now. <laughs> What's your AC? Yeah. 16. Yeah, so one of them just hits as you get a rock straight to the temple. <laughs> Bias uh, goes, Ha! Just for, <laughs> just for two points of bludgeoning damage. As it goes, And whacks you in the temple. You wanna fucking go? So Adarath just kind of have, has his head back for a sec. <laughs> and then he slowly raises it back down. And you see his eyes are now glowing yellow. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> and you see kind of as he just, Oh, you really shouldn't have done that. 
As you see, his ears grow a little longer. His uh, hair grows about another inch or so. And you see that his face mangles a bit and you see two large kind of like fangs appear in his mouth. He goes, let's go, you fucking pipsqueak. And that's where we're going to end our session. <laughs> he's a vampire. <laughs> no, he's something else. He is something else. No. Beater of the mind flip. Thanks for listening to Theatre of the Mind Flayer. We go live on all good podcast apps every Tuesday. If you like what you heard, leave us a review on whatever podcast app you're listening to. If you didn't like it, well, stiff shit, you already listened to it. Reach out to us on Twitter at MindFlayer underscore pod and on Instagram at Theatre of the Mind Flayer. Thanks, babies. 